Hi guys and welcome to this week's video. If you're new here or if you happen to come across this video, hi, my name is Rana. I do random videos for fun, mostly about studying, productivity, and sometimes vlogs where I just sit in front of the camera and talk. And that is exactly what I am doing today because as you can read from the title today, I am going to be answering some TikTok comments related to questions about accountancy, qualifying exams, my study habits, and etc. So this is actually the part two of this like Q&A, accountancy Q&A because I already made a part one which I posted last Saturday. So if you want to watch that, I am going to link the video in my description. Without further ado, let us start with this part two of accountancy Q&A. Okay, so here are the questions in my laptop. Some of the questions are in Filipino. So I'm going to try my best to translate it in English, okay? So first question, time management tips and how to study effectively for quizzes and exams. So actually guys, I have made lots of videos about my study habits and study routines on my channel. So it's actually under the study and productivity playlist. You can watch my videos there where I shared like how I start studying when I don't feel like it or answering study tips or how I study so you can watch it there. But right now, what I can tell you about time management tips is that I've already like repeated this a lot in my channel. I a lot more time to subjects I'm having a difficulty with rather than those subjects that I find a bit easier as compared to the rest. I a lot time for like reading or watching lectures another time for like taking down notes but sometimes I take notes while I watch my lectures and then another time to like read whatever I wrote in my notes and then like recall it like i'm gonna try to ask questions to myself and i'm also gonna answer it myself as for how to study effectively during quizzes and exams i think the earlier you can study the better for example you have an exam this friday don't study thursday night though sometimes i am guilty of doing that but as much as possible study ahead of time like way way earlier next question tips for qualifying exams okay so so actually guys i'm still trying to finish this video I'm currently making, it's how I pass my qualifying exams. But for now, the tip that I can give you for qualifying exams, again, the earlier you can start to review, the better. Because in qualifying exams, it does not only cover the subjects that you tackled in the whole year, but it's actually specific subjects. And I already answered this question in my part one. So tips for qualifying exams, make sure you're well rested, review, what else? Take care of your body, take care of your mental health, and don't hesitate to ask for help, especially to your teachers or to your seniors or to your friends okay next question what's more confusing obligcon which is obligations and contracts part core partnership and corporations or the cfas or the conceptual framework for accounting standards personally in my own opinion part core or the partnership the law and partnership and corporations i actually like law like obligcon out of the three obligcon obligations and contracts is my favorite subject however part core is like a bit confusing for me because there are lots of concepts that you have to consider since it is a partnership it's not only like debtor creditor no it's like partners and what's more harder is when like liquidating or like dissolving the partnership or like the formation of partnership so it's quite confusing because you have to consider a lot of things and there are different types of partners and sometimes i get confused especially when the problem is situational like for example partner a is an industrial partner partner b is a managerial partner so how does shares how do you divide the shares or the profit so that's kind of conf confusing for me parkour for sure next question is usgr good for accountancy course pros and cons okay actually guys i don't want to speak for my school because oh my gosh i might get sued or something but what i can tell you is yes usgr is one of the best schools in cebu city to take up accountancy course we have like lots of top notchers who came from usgr as well the cons um based on my experience cons for usgr is it's a lot of pressure yeah it's really pressured when it's usgr um you always think about shifting to another degree program it is that hard uh, another pro is that the teachers are really good the cons is the grades <laughs> the retention grade is two you know this is a very scary question okay i don't want to get sued by my school but yes if you want to go to usgr yeah go to usgr see you around the campus just study guys i think whatever school you go to it's still hard because it's accountancy 
Next question. Is only the first year and second year hard? <laughs> Let me tell you this, I am a 40 year accountancy student and I am still struggling. Like literally struggling. Like I'm barely hanging in here. So no, this is fake news. First year, second year, third year, fourth year, fifth year, all difficult. I think first year is bearable but the rest, oh my gosh. Next question. Night classes, what do you do about it? I don't really know if I have a lot to say about night classes because I choose my schedule really well. As much as possible, I choose schedule that's not too late for me to go home. So as much as possible, 7 is the latest. Unfortunately, now I have a class that ends at 9 p.m. So let's see about this. So I can't, for now, I can't speak a lot about night classes. Okay, next question. Hello, Ate. This is not a question, but what are your advice for freshmen? Speaking of advices for freshmen, I actually already posted a video related to this it's called 10 tips for incoming freshmen or incoming accountancy students so just check it out i am gonna link the video in my description as always next question notes reveal i don't really follow a specific format whenever i write my notes but i'm very particular with the color of my highlighter i already mentioned this in part one like for example red is for big concepts yellow is for the definitions of those concepts so i'm more specific on my highlighters rather than my format for the notes so guys this is my notes reveal it's very colorful so i wasn't lying when i told you i love highlighters because this works for me so i just realized how colorful they really are oh my god and i'm showing this to you whatever Look, guys, I don't really focus on my penmanship. I focus on how I understand my lessons. Because at the end of the day, people won't watch your penmanship. They'll watch your answer. So, yeah. I don't have an aesthetically pleasing notes. It's just the way it is. So, yeah. But if you want me to make a video dedicated to note-taking, why not? I can make that. Next question. Is it okay to join orgs during freshman year? I am FEU BSA student too. Wow, F FEU. Oh my gosh. Hi. Uh, <laughs> I already answered a similar question in part one actually. I answered there yes if you can handle it. This question is really much better because I believe personally it's much better to join an organization in your freshman years because freshman year in BSA is not as hacked as second year, third year, and fourth year. So I don't know why I'm joining one right now where I, when I am in fourth year. So mm, let me update you on how I will be able to manage it, okay? Next question. How do you balance your ACADs and social life? Time management. That's exactly the answer. Um, Actually, guys, I schedule my social life as well. Like, for example, I'm gonna hang out with friends. I make sure that there's no exam the day after that or the week after that. So, I try to find a free time where I could, I could still hang out and meet my friends. However, I'm not really the person who likes to go outside the house. So, social life for me is social media. Like, I go to TikTok, make videos, I interact with people. That's already social life for me. So, as much as possible i really do not prevent myself from social media but i try to like be disciplined in using it just be responsible guys social media responsibility because social media is like a black hole once you enter there's no way out okay time management and schedule your social events or activities so that also you won't miss out on your like family events or like hanging out with friends next question is it okay to apply as a working student while studying in accountancy personally i do not recommend it because I cannot handle it. This is my own opinion, but I have a really close friend. His name is Ronald. He is currently working while studying accountancy and I can see that he's doing really well. So I think it still depends on how you can handle it. For me, I don't think I can. Like I break down a lot guys and working will just make it worse for me, okay? It, this doesn't apply for everyone, just for me. Okay, next question. Phone or laptop application or websites that you actually use as a BSA student. Guys, if you're new to my channel, you might not watch my previous video 
videos, but I actually made three videos dedicated to study websites for students. So there's a part one, part two, and part three. Overall, I shared 15 websites that I use whenever I study. So that's for the websites. But for phone and laptop application, I use the Anki app. I already mentioned this a lot. Anki app where I make my flashcards. Then the class app where I like make my class schedule. I also use Pomodoro timers. So there are a lot. You can just find different Pomodoro timers available for both iPhone and Android. So yes, that's it. So I'm gonna link the three videos in my description as well. So make sure to check that out. Okay, next question. Is it okay to pursue accountancy even though you are from Yum's Strand? before um i already again answered a similar question in my part one however the question was when you are a stem student this one you are a yum student i mentioned there that i believe it's okay whatever strand you took in your senior high if you really want to become an accountant in the future if you want to be a cpa then go for it just sacrifice and do the extra effort however again there's still an advantage if you're an abm student because we already tackled like the basics in accountancy but don't worry everyone starts at square one in your first year in accountancy so just try to catch up next question major subjects from first year to fourth year then tips also okay let me show you our prospectus for first year our major subjects are financial accounting and reporting and conceptual framework so that's our accounting 101 we also have the law and obligations and contracts that's it for our First year first sem for first year second sem we have intermediate accounting one we have law on business or the rfbt2 so this is the law on partnership and corporations so we don't have major subjects for first year in summer but for second year first semester we have intermediate accounting two three cost accounting then we have law on sales and then we have economic development we had five major subjects from second year first sem and for second year second sem we have intermediate accounting four then we have the strategic business analysis then we have the financial management and the governance business ethics risk management internal control or our accounting 401 we also have the tax so for second year second sem we have five major subjects for second year summer we only have one major subject which is the accounting 106 valuation concepts and methods so for third year first semester our major subjects are management science we have accounting information system or the ias we have the auditing and assurance principles and the tax two or the business and transfer taxes we also have econ form managerial economic and then for our third year second sem we have the auditing in cis environment we have the accounting for special transactions we have auditing and assurance concepts and applications and we have the rfbt4 which is the law and banking and other laws then for third year summer we had tax 3 which is the preferential taxation for fourth year first sem the subjects i'm still about to take we have accounting for government and not profit organizations accounting for business combinations auditing and assurance too we also have operations auditing accounting research methods five we have five major subjects for first sem and for my second sem we have three major subjects we have auditing and assurance specialized industries accounting research and accounting internship for our fifth year it's all our integrated subjects so that's it that's the major subjects for bsa in my school usjr good luck guys next question hello can you share your study routine and some tips on how you to fully understand the lessons thank you ate um again you can watch my videos it's already in my study and productivity playlist on what my study routine is but for my study routine what i typically do i start with a cup of coffee i make my coffee choose a music make my to-do list the goals that i want to accomplish for today and stick to it i really make sure that i finish whatever i write in my to-do list so guys if you watch my study vlogs i have a lot of study vlogs i have a specific playlist called study with me where I show you how I study if you have time or when you're studying you can study with me while watching my video so, so you can really see the things that I do whenever I study how I take my breaks and etc study with me watch my study vlogs I'm also gonna link it in my description next how important are the minor subjects in accountancy personally I believe minor subjects are still like relevant in college 
because it somehow introduces you to something that you might be interested in like for example i'm an accountancy student but we have subjects on like arts this coming semester so if you're someone who also wants to like do art so it's like a way for you to like do something you love while studying such an hectic or demanding degree program personally minor subjects for me are a diversion because if you don't know that yet, I keep on repeating this, I did not choose accountancy for myself. But somehow, the minor subject really diverts me into focusing on how hard accountancy is. Like PE, for example, I love dancing. And once we had PE where we have to dance, somehow it makes me happy. Maybe you can see it differently, maybe you don't agree with minor subjects because sometimes it's like time consuming. But personally, I still believe it's relevant. Next question. I actually, this question, I actually already replied to this comment in my TikTok. But the question is, Ate, is it normal that you're still in your second week in BSA first year, but you're overthinking and you have doubts and all? I'm taking up BSA in USC. Hello, USC. But I feel so... The B word. Oh my gosh, the B word. The B word. Mm, I also think of this myself. Yes, Shia. Sha Shia, hopefully I'm saying your name right. It is very normal. I think it is not normal when you're not panicking. In college, that's already the norm. So if you're relaxed, something's wrong. Maybe you're not doing an assignment you're supposed to be doing. So yes, I'm in my fourth year and I can vouch that this is true. I'm still having doubts and still, actually, I still want to shift even though I'm in my fourth year. Next question. Okay notebook reveal okay i actually have this notebook here it's a mathematic notebook like the graph thing because sometimes i use that but usually i buy the corona notebooks the spiral ones and the big ones because i like it when my notes are in a big notebook rather than those small notebook because for me small notebooks make my notes look crowded I don't like that it's overwhelming for me so i like notebooks that are actually big and i like spiral ones because if you made a mistake or something i can just tear it out so once guys a classmate actually told me rona your notebook it hurts my eyes because it's too colorful it's too neon and it's too blinding but we have different preferences i prefer mine colorful because once i highlighted it that means i actually understand it i don't just highlight for the aesthetic i highlight because i actually understand the subject uh, also guys in my examples if there is like an example accounting problem i try to enclose it in a box because it will be easier for me to see it if i do my reviews so yeah my notes are colorful okay so i have here the last question so i just realized this is the last question can you give me an example on how you do time blocking to manage your time effectively in finishing your task. Okay, time blocking. I actually tried to experiment with different types of like study styles. I tried time blocking, but somehow what works for me is different. I use the flow method. If this is your first time hearing about flow method, well, let me introduce you to flow method. Flow method is a study technique where you focus on one specific task. Like for example, watching a 30 minute lecture, you're gonna try to finish the task however long it takes you without interruptions so no breaks somehow works for me because it allows me to actually focus and concentrate on one thing and it helps me not get too overwhelmed with my studies however sometimes i also use a pomodoro technique whenever i'm studying late at night because sometimes you get uh, a little sleepy late at night and pomodoro technique helps me with that because in pomodoro technique you have like 25 minutes studying five minutes break so in the five minutes break you can like rest or take a quick nap some people also do 30 minutes study and 10 minutes break it's still a pomodoro technique so it actually depends on what you prefer that's how i finish most of my assignments like if a teacher gives me one assignment i can do that in a day as long as no one tries to interrupt me because i'm a talkative person if you try to talk to me while i study i will talk to you and i will not study so yes so i guess that's it for now that's it for my accountancy q a part two if you want more videos like this 
subscribe to my channel or send me questions in my tiktok so that's it for the part two hopefully you also watched the part one if you haven't and again thank you guys for hanging out with me i've been receiving lots of like dms in my instagram asking me questions about accountancy and actually it's a bit overwhelming because i don't really see myself as that person that could actually help you because i'm also struggling myself but as much as possible i try to help students because i can see that they really want this degree program as compared to me to be completely honest with you i still think about shifting a lot anyways that's it for today make sure you watch my future videos in my channel and thank you so much for everything so i really appreciate it and if you're from usjr see you around campus Guys, don't be shy i just look intimidating but i swear i'm approachable like i look like this in public but my personality, I'm loud, I'm talkative, you can just reach out to me. Okay, whatever, bye! <laughs>